G'day guys, this week's podcast is once again brought to you by the ever-perfect Bar beer. The best beer for NRL finals, baby. It's that time of the year once again, baby. Exactly, but not in Brisbane. It's not, but that's okay. That's okay, because we're coming to you from the Caxton Hotel where we are sinking blokes, where we're going to be watching the NRL finals the entire time. And the entire time we'll have blokes down our throat. I'm excited for the next four weeks as finals, I think. Yeah. Four weeks of just continuous bloke. Down your throat. Straight up the guts. Exactly. Now, I know I'll be getting it at the Caxton Hotel, but if I can't get it at the Caxton Hotel, I'll be going to blokeatabar.com and dust. what do I do there? You can enter your postcode into the store locator, Josh, and that'll tell you where you can get bloke near you. To get down your throat. So, guys, make sure if you don't know where bloke at a bar is by now, well then, I don't know, go to bed with the mirror and wake up to yeah. yourselves. We're, but We're on the full strength this evening. Uh, there is mid-strength as well. Interchangeable. Depending on your mood, depending on the game. You might have a big day mm. planned. Jump on the middies. Exactly. You might be tucking in at home to watch your team play finals footy. I won't be. But if, mm. I wa- if I was, I'd be drinking full strength. Exactly. Now, if your team is getting eliminated, smash a couple of heavies. But if they're going well, just smash the mids. But just either way, get some bloke down your fucking throat. It's the only way to do footy finals. Go to blokeinabar.com. Welcome back. Hey. Hello, everyone. This is Band of the Week. Who is it? Port Royal. Shout out to them. This is their song, Don't You Forget About Me. A couple of Ashgrovians. Are they? Yeah. There you go. From your brother's grade, mate. Oh, bang. Oh, up the boys. Shout out to the boys. Forgot that I had to turn the music down before we started, sorry. Yeah, well. Welcome back to On the Pierce with Klotz and Dars. It's a bit of an intimate episode if you're watching it. It is. YouTube. We're uh, getting a bit cosy in bed together. It, we are. We are. It might not look like we're at the Caxton Hotel, but we definitely are. Oh, well, we fucking are. People we, actually probably won't believe that we are, but we are. Like, yeah. I don't well, know how else to tell you. We basically spend enough time here as it is, so we decided we'd um, set up shop, but... Yeah, we've, we've set up shop with our lad collective sheets. There'll be yeah. more on that later, but yeah. uh, we thought we'd just, you know... Touch on it early to sort of explain the while situation. We're, while we're laying in bed together. We, we do spend a lot of time in bed together as it is. So Yeah, um, exactly. I thought we'd just yeah, make it official on camera for once. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So um, shout out to our missus for uh, allowing us to allowing be in this us, sort of relationship. Yeah, exactly, where we sleep together and they sleep uh, separately on by themselves yep. in dark rooms. It's pretty How are you, man? Awesome. I'm great. How are you? I'm very, very good. Thank you. That is so um, good. Happy to be back at the Mighty Caco once again. Yeah, mate. It's been a, uh, it's been a while since I've been here. What? How long? Probably like seven days. Yeah. You didn't come on the weekend? No, nah, unfortunately not. No, neither did I. I'll be here this weekend, though. Yeah. How was your weekend? But, mate, it was great. Friday was a big day. Um, I had a pretty big week, to be honest. I was pretty wrecked. But I just knew I had some shit to do. And the shit to do was play some footy bruh. sixth grade footy. How did it go? It went very well. <laughs> Thank you for including me. We got the win. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking sick. Semi-final? Yeah, mate, semi-final. It was a bit of a weird week. So we're meant to be playing at Souths, but then... Souths conveniently didn't have their field available for us to play at. Right. Maybe because they got knocked out the week before and I sensed there was a little bit of salt and that if their right. team was still available, we would have been playing at Souths. But that's okay, understandable. I probably wouldn't want to see two clubs that beat me throughout the season play, play on, on my, my ground. I'm just going to try and done. straighten their camera up a little bit, yep. but you keep talking. It's all good. So that happened. Um, and then there was this stupid suggestion that the game would be changed from Souths to Kenmore. Now, why that's a stupid suggestion, and I think I had a bit of a rant last week about this. We we got minor premiers. Now, that's that's not nothing, you know? That's something. That's fucking something. That's something big. But, lo- like, last week we had to play Redlands at Redlands, even though we were minor premiers. That's just because that's the way the cookie crumbles. We could have potentially... South only just lost to Toa, who we beat on Friday. But if South beat Toa, we would have been playing South at South. 
right. little minor premiers. There's no. That doesn't. The, it doesn't add up. There's no home ground advantage. It does not add up. So, Toa's home ground is Kenmore, and as soon as Kenmore was thrown into question, our uh, our captain coach slash barrister. Shorey <laughs> Helps that he's a barrister Yeah Went full Fucking lawyer mode Full barrister mode Sorry It's offensive to say That he's a lawyer Because He is So many steps above a lawyer yeah, Because on, he is possibly The smartest Most handsome man And I know he'll be Listening to this um, And Those words Couldn't be truer So he True. fought for us And he got the game Moved to West's And you know what That's good I, I was good like result. You know what? Good West's result. pretty good yeah, and then fucking Thursday night, get another message. Uh, West have heard there's rain tomorrow and they're hosting a few grand finals next weekend so they don't want the fields to be ruined by sixth grade. Once again, salty Sh- that their own team wasn't in it, whatever. Um, so then we got kicked out to Albany Creek. But might I say, I've played a lot of football down at uh, the old Albany Creek South Pine Sports Complex next to the Eaton Hill Hotel. Yeah, I know the, I know the one. I've yeah, played mate. some sport there as well. It's quite good, now, isn't it? It is spectacular now. That's the, the canteen. Well, the canteen wasn't open because they weren't ready for us. Of course. But that's okay. Disappointing, but... Um, the facilities there are fucking sick now, man. They've got, like, big sheds and shit, um, like a big indoor facility, full new changing rooms for touch football, rugby union, and rugby league. Did you get naked in the showers? Uh, I didn't have a shower after the game at the venue. Fair enough. Um, I went home and had a shower. In my jocks. Got the um, <laughs> Sharing your jocks at home, do you? Yeah, I do. Can never be too safe, mate. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to look at myself. <laughs> That's fucked. That is fucked. No one else wants to look at me, so why would I want to look at Get rid of the mirror in the bathroom. Nah, jokes. You ever can, can contemplate just showering with a blindfold on? Um, I have. I've you tried it. feeling it as well? Like, I feel like if you can feel it, then you might no, have to no, figure no, out No, no, no. Like, I just have terrible balance as it is. So and I know what? what's going to happen. So... <laughs> Well, bro, as soon as I'm blindfolded, where's my sense of balance coming from, you know? Probably not from your eyes, but sure. Nah, so, and that's what I use to balance because I can see. I okay. don't use anything else to balance. Sure, sure. Because I can't. Because you got um, none. Because I got nothing else to balance with. But, yeah, anyway, I played out of Romney Creek. Did you score a try? <sighs> I got denied again. <laughs> We have penalty it's, advantage, it's and I placed theory. the fucking ball over the line again. It was too easy. It was literally too easy. I fucking placed the ball over the line again, and just celebrated. It was, and it was just, it just looked that easy that I was like, nah, nah I'll go back to the penalty. Yep. Fucked. <laughs> we didn't score a try in the game either. It oh, was no. It's the lowest. And you still score won six five. Fuck me. Two penalty goals to one try. We were dominating the entire game and it was fucked, mate. I think our halfback did like a pretty average ball that was dropped by the 10 and it was kicked and they scored like an 80 metre try. That was pretty demoralising. But credit to our boys. Not as demoralising as losing by by two penalty goals. No. And also, this is pretty devastating for Toa. This is fucked. Now... It's towards the end of the game. We definitely had the ascendancy and we're up by one point. And Would you say that they had the descendancy? Definitely. And now this, this next play, this, this just showed the ticker on the boys and how much we wanted it. But we got the ball and we just booted it down just to get right down in their half. Um, and it was about five, ten metres out from the goal line is where it stopped. And it was me, Big Reed, Stanbury... And one other person just absolutely steaming for the ball. And then someone from Toa. Toa guy got there first. And then Reed's like tackled him, pushed him back. Some more Toa guys have got there to get the ball. Now, there's no time left. And the ref made it very clear there was no time left. Fucking someone passes the ball back to this guy in goal from Toa. And he grounds the ball. Oh, no. And we're all just sort of standing there. We're like... What the fuck? Game over. Because that's a stoppage in play and that's game over. Yeah, game over. Ref just goes, full time. And everyone's just like, oh my God, that just happened. Idiot. Like, they're in a shit position anyway. Like, they would have had to have run fucking 105 metres to score after they're all fucked. But literally the game ended because old mate fucking placed the ball in the in goal. So you didn't score any tries? No. So you've got to get three in the grand final this week. Two. Two, sorry. Two. 
Which is very in the doable. grand final. You just got to get low, keep your body light low. It's all about the body. What's going on with your feet, Bull? Can't sit still. Yeah, dude, this is what I'm like. <laughs> this is what I'm like. I fucking hate to share a bed with yeah, you. Yeah, dude. I was trying to push the bed up against the wall before, and I was like, "Why isn't it moving?" And then I realised it's because there's a hundred kilo man lying on it, yeah, and the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Buck twenty bull. Yeah, but fuck. So that was Friday. <laughs> um, I had a holiday in Mitchelton over the weekend. What do you mean? Well, Caitlin's mum was away, so we just were at her place with her sister, and then um, put your knee down. They can't see your face. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Fuck, I'm not used to this, hey. But these sheets are so comfy. This You're so is so horizontal. What, dude, I'm like, I'm literally just like moving around so much because they feel so good. So soft. It's what I do at home. Um, <laughs> Gutsy puts new sheets on the bed just so he can get naked and roll around in them. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Um, yeah, so I went to Mitchelton, just chilled out, fucking... On uh, Saturday, I feel like we did some stuff, but I'm, oh, that's right, went out to Sanford, actually. How oh, good. dude, almost got fucking... Run over. Run over. Not, yeah. not really run over, like hit by a car. Yeah, which, um, yeah, Dars didn't understand the severity of it. it no was, way. It was genuinely fucked, Can't sending it through like a play-by-play as he's going over the Because I, I was genuinely shocked. I was yeah. like, holy fuck, I almost got hit by a and car. It's like, as you're going over the Sanford range, which you lose... um. Reception. reception on so it was yeah. just coming through all stagnated i was hung over i wasn't reading it properly yeah. so what happened man I'll, I'll try and explain it to the listeners and the viewers um in <laughs> nice and concisely yeah, please because dude it was fucked so we're, we're driving down past um Capera golf course and we've gone past the police station right yep and then there's like this fucking police four-wheel drive was like speeding next to us and then just being real weird and i was like if like, I said to Caitlin, I was like, this is really weird. Like, is he just driving aggressively or, like, is he trying to get somewhere? And he put the lights on and got in front of a couple of us and there was one car in front of us and then this police car and it slowed down a fair bit. Yep. And where the old wool shed is, where that estate is now. Yep, yeah, yep, not well. Yeah, yep. Um, we're driving, we get to there and then all of a sudden the um, police car puts its lights back on and starts slowing down and then puts its ass in our lane and the front of the car in the other it's, lane. It's single lane from, both ways. Yeah, single yeah. lane both ways. So it's blocking both lanes. And I was like, oh, what that's weird. And yeah. I was like, fuck, like they must be stopping traffic for something. Um, I don't know, maybe like a breath test or some shit like that. But then there was cars coming from the other way and we were mm. only stopped maybe like 20 metres from each other. And the guy's got his fucking arm out like this. We're sitting there for like, I don't know, three, four, five minutes. And then all of a sudden, like we're looking around and then we see the cop cars start to move a bit. And then um, the car in front of us started going off to the left. So Caitlin started going off to the left. And as she did that, this fucking Range Rover is screaming down, going in our lane from <laughs> Samford. So the wrong way, like going, in the wrong yeah, lane. Yeah, in the wrong lane, going fucking straight towards us. And then it swerved to miss the cop car, gone off the side of the road, and then come back on going, I'd say, well over 100 k's an hour, man. Fuck. And then it's gone within a metre of our car. Jesus. So, like... Was there cars if, behind you as well? Like yeah, banked up? heaps of cars banked up behind us as well. But it just went roaring past, and, like, the car shook and everything when it drove past. It was within, like, if we didn't move, like, it would have gone fucking straight into the front of the car. And yeah, it, it was fucked, man. That is fucked. And I was just absolutely rocked. And then I was being a fuckwit. Being yeah. Like, being like, what, so sorry, where were you? Yeah. <laughs> From the Who, top? Who's old, mate? <laughs> From the top? And I was like, fuck this cunt. And you know I was like, funny? I would punch Darcy in the when face. I when I, I realised, like, shit, I didn't realise, like, you nearly died. But the yeah. funniest thing was yesterday, because uh, my girlfriend used to live in Sanford. Yeah. She's like, holy shit, someone stole a car from Sanford and was, like, speeding down the range and nearly hit all these people. And I was going <laughs> to message, I was gonna message <laughs> in the group and be like, holy shit, boys, guess what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Tell the same story. But I was like, no, 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 better yeah, not, better fuck. not. So it was pretty fucked. But anyway, went to Little Tree Cafe. Shout out to them, not an ad. Um, <laughs> Good beer if they wanted to. Great, great feed. Really enjoyed it. And then we just fucking potted around Sanford for a bit. Um, Did you just Dutch oven me? No, no, no. You'll know if I Dutch oven you. <laughs> there'll, there'll be shit going down. Um, and then was really ready for a nap and we're about to leave Sanford. And Caitlin sees her grandma across on the road. 
And so we go, oh, g'day. And then she's like, stopped outside the Sanford pub in the middle of the thing. She's like, we're going to Little Tree. Come over and say g'day. Park up and say hello. <laughs> like, okay. She's like, we're all going to Little... And it was just like Wait, was it, it Caitlin's out. grandma? Or? Yeah, Caitlin's oh, grandma. Sorry, I thought it was a random and, person, But it was yeah. with her uh, her friends from the um, the quilting society. Love I think it. it. CWA. Was. Yeah, mate. So we... Uh, we ended up at Little Tree with all the old ladies just fucking pounding ice lattes and, oh. and fries. It was great. It's definitely time of year to have an ice latte, hey? I had oh, a, I, so good. I had a hot coffee this morning and was sweating by the time I got back to my yeah, office. Yeah, no, no, no. Ice lattes all around, mate. They're so this good. This is the first episode we've done in a long time with the aircon on. Yeah, it's, it's good to be back. There's a lot of heat coming from underneath these sheets, as you could. You could say the heat is on. The heat is on. But it's not. The air conditioning The air is. conditioning's on. That's but cool. we are the heat and we are on. All right, we touched on it briefly earlier, but the absolute legends at the Lad Collective are back on board as sponsors of this week's podcast. It's great to be back. It's great to have the boys back. They are producing the best sheets in the country. They are silky bloody smooth, aren't they, Josh? Producing the best sheets in the world. They are silky smooth. We thought we better put our money where our mouth is because we've talked about these guys before and how good they are and how easy it is to set up their sheets. So we thought, fuck it. Let's record in a bed at yeah, the Caxton. Exactly. We basically live here as it is anyway. If so. you're not watching the YouTube, we're basically like Charlie. We're, in bed. we're Charlie and Grandpa Jack from yeah. Willy Wonka. And you know what? We're not fucking leaving. There's no fucking way I'm leaving. And you know, it sounds like a pain in the ass to set up a bed in the Caxton, but not when the corners are fucking labeled, Josh. Exactly. It took less than 30 seconds to, to make set the bed. this bed up, which to is make ridiculous. the bed. And have a look at it. How good does it look? Pillowcases, sheet, top sheet with a label in the middle so you don't get it around the wrong way. Yes, the if you're looking on YouTube right now, my foot is holding up the Lad Collective label on the sheet. There's top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, tags on the corners. It's simple. You literally can't go wrong. Now, Darcy, if you don't want to be wrong and people want to join us, all they have how to do, do Josh, it? all they have to do is go to theladcollective.com and use our code BEERS20, which will get you $20 off and free shipping from your first order. That's fucking incredible. Get behind the boys. They're a bunch of young Brizzy boys supporting us. So let's support them. Just blokes supporting blokes. And we want you to get your sheet together. Get your sheet together. I don't know how many times you have to say it. Exactly. Just do it. Do it. Lightcollective.com. Yeah, but um, fuck, also, might be moving out finally. Yeah, finally. For those of you who don't know, I actually still live at home. Mm-hmm. Um, but the old fella's back in Brisbane a lot more frequently now, and I think my time at home has to come to an end. Wearing thin, and is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I don't mind being at home, but I think I just No, you need get to. over it, though. Fuck yeah. Like when you get home from work and she's like, I don't want to talk to mum and dad. Yeah. Or anyone, really. Yeah, I just like to sit there and do nothing, man. <laughs> I just do absolutely nothing. Play a bit of Xbox. Ugh. I don't know. Take a shit. Yeah. But yeah, so looking at a place at Everton Park, Huge. moving to some mates. Huge. We'll be confirming on Thursday whether that goes ahead or not. I reckon you should set up a little streamers den if you move in there and stream when you play Xbox and stuff. It'd be funny as. Oh my God. Yeah, dude, because these, the two boys I'm moving in with. Um, Love that game. They're twins and they're massive gamers. One of them actually. We've got a spare mic and shit here as well. So. Okay, I'll do that. I'll, yeah. I'll do it. We just have to bring it in when we need it. Literally, one of the dudes, um, back when he was in year 11. Um, we all used to work together at Macca's Two years younger than me And um, yeah when he was in year 11 For those of you out there I think it's League of Legends He beat the Oceanic LOL. champion In LOL As a 16 year old And then focused on His studies in year 12 And gave up playing LOL But he could have been a professional LOL player And he's very humble about that but I think it's pretty fucking sick. That's very cool. It's pretty fucking sick. I'm jealous. But uh, and then the other one used to be a semi-professional CSGO player, which I don't know what CSGO stands for. But yeah, so maybe maybe I can finally start my streaming. That'd be fucking sick. Um, anyway, looked at the house there. Pretty confident I'll move in. Should be awesome. Very excited. Uh, and then went to the woods for dinner. Had a great little... I've not been to the woods in a long bro, time. Bro, it was good. But oh, I've got to say, like, I'm glad it's coming back to summer because I've been there twice this winter. Love the woods, but I'm not a stout man. Yeah, not a stout man. And they've, they've, got, um, they've got a few stouts on tap for the stoutman. We, so, love, we love this. I'm a stoutman. I'm a big oh, stoutman. Oh, no, you're a stoutman. I actually had a stout last Tuesday at um, my fantasy football draft night that... Um, 
fuck me. It destroyed my guts, man. The stout. But it was so good. Like, it's because it's, cause it's like, it was one from Bruni Island that I've had in the fridge for ages. And it's like, it's yeah, a, yeah, instead I remember of a milk this. based one, it's a cheese based one. <laughs> like, it's made from cheese shit. I don't know, That'll man. get you, man. It fucking got me. But it was good to be reminded of my trip in Tassie where I couldn't stop shitting. <laughs> so that was nice. And then Sunday, man, just a nice little old market trip. You love the markets, don't you? Well, it's, it's just what would talk me through the, the bowl you had at the markets? Oh, my God. That was insane. It was like a cob loaf, but it had Jap curry in it. That is so With good. a fried chicken teriyaki skewer. Like, it was one of the best things I have ever eaten. Uh, and it, you, you got me a katsu, honestly. And you it was, I think it was 10 or 11 bucks. That's pretty good. And I was so full from it, which that doesn't often happen. No. I also had a bar me because the bar me You had lady, two. Well, the bar me lady that we usually go to hadn't been um, at the markets for a while. And then she was back. But you'd already indulged in a katsu bowl. Well, I'd... Caitlin had gone up to order the bar me's and I was like, fuck, this looks so good as well. She's like, get that as well. I was like, yeah, fuck it, why not? Didn't realise how big it was. Um, came in like, it was like tigger bread as well. Tigger so, bread? Yeah, bro. Do you mean tiger bread? Oh, I always call it tigger bread because of, you know, tigger from Winnie the Pooh. Who's a tiger? Yeah, tigger the tiger. It's tiger bread, bro. It's yeah, I know it's bread. tiger bread, but I call it tigger bread. Okay. Because it reminds me of my childhood. Which was really good. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Yeah, yeah. That's Fuck, I love tiger bread. Though. I know it's tiger bread, but I just call it tiger bread. <laughs> it it's, c- can be painful on the gums, though, tiger bread. Mm, it can be. If it's too, like... Oh, yeah. Too crispy. Yeah, I know. Fuck, same with some sourdoughs, hey, actually. Just nothing worse than a sourdough when you're trying to fucking cut the thing at a, a cafe. Oh, my God. The over-toasting of sourdough is something that I think needs to be addressed in Australia's cafe. Especially when they give you a butter knife. Oh, how are you meant to, Dude, that crust, my God. <laughs> yeah. That is... Why is it a thing some, everywhere as well? Like, I, I, surely I someone know. sorts like, it out. How have yeah, we not man. found the solution to this yet? It's like, surely we can get some soft sourdough. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, or just I, a better I knife? love a good crust. I love a good crust, okay? So but do I. I also pizza, like having my gums sandwich. intact. Yeah. I actually really like having my gums intact. Absolutely. But, look, I don't know. I digress. Vegas can't be choosers. Um, And, yeah, all that other shit in between. But, mate, what about you? I had a pretty pretty chill weekend. I actually had a great night at um, the Boundary on Friday night. Went and ended up watching the Lions game there. Yep. Which is awesome. Great Um, game. As uh, people who listen to the sports show will know that we're massive AFL fans Mm. now. Um, always have been, always will be. Go always the Lions, um, which was really good. Kept it pretty chill on Saturday, and then actually went to Aether Brewing with my dad on yesterday, Sunday. Yeah, nice. I haven't been there before. It was great. Good little venue. Great little venue. Um, little or big venue? Um, medium, medium sized venue, yeah, I nice, guess you could nice. say. Um, that actually brings up a point that I wanted to chat about. And I've just been going through my phone trying to find it, but ah, um, uh, yes. Uh, if you can find the screenshot that you sent explaining what I'm about to say, that would be good. But yeah, okay. Uh, so I was having beers with my dad yesterday, and you know when you go to like a craft beer brewery, often the beers are like pretty strong. And yeah, they don't, even, they don't even have to be that strong. Like I think the beers we're drinking yesterday between like four and six percent. Like yeah, most yeah. of them are four point five five percent. Not that strong, but you know when you go to like the pub and have four schooners of gold, you're like sweet. Yeah, and then you go to one of these joints and you have five schooners of Something that's five percent, and you're fucked. Dad goes to get up and go to the toilet, and he said to me, <coughs> "Geez, mate, I've only had five beers, and I'm three sheets to the wind." <laughs> and walked off, and I was like, "What the fuck, what the fuck is, is three that? sheets to the wind?" So I, I messaged the group, and I was like, "What the fuck does it mean?" And what what did you find? So you to be three sheets to the wind is to be drunk. The sheet is the line that controls the sails on a ship. If the line is not secured, the sail flops in the wind, and the ship loses headway and control. If all three sails are loose. The ship is out of control. <laughs> so I said, too long, didn't read. Papa Gannon is out of control. Is out of control. It's funny. When Dad came <laughs> back, I was like, you said three sheets in the wind before. What does that mean? He's like, I don't know, man. I think it's a sailing term. I'm fucked. <laughs> 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 I thought it was so funny. So I've asked the question uh, in the frothies, and I've got my favourites here, which I'll read out to you, Josh. 
Yeah. Um, we asked people to reach out with their favourite term. I've got them here, so I'll just read them to you. Okay, cool. Thank Been you. through them all. Um, it's good that you can view these again. Yeah. I don't know when that started, but it started. So um, Angus says, the best is literally just adding ED, like Ed, to any noun. Fuck, bro. I was pelican last night. <laughs> <laughs> Our mate Mitch reached out and said, uh, I'm as blind as a welder's dog. (laughs) 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 Those can't see sparks all the time. Um, I'm as full as a fat lady's sock. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that one's good. Uh, I'm wearing the wobbly boots. That's just a classic. Uh, I'm as buckled as a seatbelt. I quite liked that one. That's good. That's good. Um, he's had one too many birthdays, <laughs> which I assume is like, you're too old. Like, you, yeah. You know, like, if you're on a bender, I'm fucking too old. Yeah. Uh, this one comes in from the great Will Evans. I'm as full as a state school hat rack. <laughs> <laughs> Someone called Fred Hollows because I'm fucking blind. <laughs> so, yeah, that was some of my favorites. But uh, if people out there listening, let us know um, some of yours. There were some absolute shockers that got sent in. People missed the memo, I think, but. Anyway, we'll, uh, yeah. we'll we'll work through it. Thanks for uh, everyone reaching out and supplying us with some laughs. Yeah, fucking hell. But that was my weekend. Kept it pretty chill. Mow the lawn. Lawn's a mess at the moment. Yeah. Weeds everywhere. Anyone's got some weed in feed. If anyone's got any tips. Yeah, actually, that'd be greatly yeah, appreciated. Just send them through to Das. Just reach out on Instagram. I'll send you photos of the current situation. and We can work through it together. That'd be greatly yeah, appreciated. Yeah, exactly. And if weed and feed want to sponsor the podcast... Oh, Dar- that'd be awesome. Darcy at bloodybrilliantbeers.com. Shout out to Weed and Feed. Maybe that's Power of the Pod this week. Yeah. Tag Weed and Feed. Tag Weed and Feed. <laughs> I'm gonna, oh, okay, that is Power of the Pod this week. I'm going to post a photo of my lawn on Friday and everyone needs to tag Weed and Feed and say, please help the boys. Please so help this man. Do they even have Instagram? Let's check. Fuck, I hope so. If not, we're going back to Facebook, baby. <laughs> I don't even know if that, surely they'll have that. Oh, mate, they'd have to. Weed and Feed is probably the premier... Um, weed killer, weed and feed, one thousand posts of fewer. Jeez, it's not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good at all. <laughs> we'll figure out. We'll figure out the brand too. It'd have to be like a brand that makes weed and feed. We'll figure it out. Yeah, exactly. We'll figure it out. We'll f- hopefully, we figure something out. <laughs> we will figure we something need out. To. We need to. Now, we did also ask if anyone had any relationship advice. Tell you what, I think everyone has missed the boat here once again. But we thought we'd do a new sub uh, segment named Pillow Talk, and seeing as we're in the bed, sponsored by the Lad Collective boys. Yeah. But uh, we didn't really get too many relationship advice questions, did we? Um, yeah, there is one guy. Now I'm not going to say what you said, but biggest tree in Bean Lee. Um, I'm just going to say ask. Definitely ask. Because if you don't ask, <laughs> you get in a lot of trouble. I know what the comment is. Now, yeah, I think. If there's got to be a discussion. You've definitely... There has to be a discussion. Other. Definitely. There's no read way... The, read the first comment, I reckon. It's a tough one. Oh, the fuck, Mary kill. Yeah, you're going to have to put your phone out so people can see your face as well, mate. You're fuck. not sitting in a very good spot. Yeah, well, I can't really sit up anymore with the headphones. Oh, they tight. I yeah, didn't think about tight. that. Yeah, they're tight. Yeah, so I've, this is me for the rest of the pod. Um, Fuck, Mary Kill, Pig Athletic Club, Hello Sport, and Alpha Blokes. Tough one. That is tough because I know whatever we say about pack, that That'll was be just sad. roast us yeah. for. Fuck them, though. Um, because, all right, well, what I'm going to do for pack is give my thoughts on just each option for them. Fuck, just because, like, well, it's an old flame. Yeah. So, you know, you do it for old time's sake. Yeah. But then they'd just be like, oh, whatever, they don't care about us anymore. Um, marry, if you married Pack, well... Probably be a pretty, pretty fun marriage. Yeah, it'd be a fun marriage. Um, but then they'd probably say that we're, they're just the, the safe, boring option then. And kill, well, they did leave us. They did. And then they just get salty anyway. One, uh, if you unplug your headphones from the side, do they unplug? What do you mean? Oh, no. No, no I'm, say, I'm happy with I can this. just run it underneath me and up there be way better for you. No, it's fine, dude. I'll, okay. I'll be right. I'm actually quite comfy like this. Right. Um, I, I reckon I've got it sorted. Right, we, we're going to marry talk- HSP and spend the rest of our lives with Tom and Eddie. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And then we're fucking Tommy and Cam. Yeah. Because that'd be just be wild. Yeah. It'd be absolutely wild. 
And it would be. Sorry, Pac. But the boys, you've let us down. You left us. So, uh, yeah, look, that's, I agree. That's the three for us. I agree. I'm Literally, that's exactly what I was thinking. I feel like us with Tom and Eddie would be a great little, uh, a great little marriage. Um, I have a feeling the King yeah, of the North the- is about to enter the podcast. Stealing for Asqua. Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I nearly just need you in the head. Welcome to the pod. How are you, Bull? That's good. That was That's that for, was people, for people who didn't believe that we're actually recording in a bed at the Caxton. That's proof. That is That's the, proof. the king of the Caxton himself has just five-star frog splashes. Yeah. R.I.P. Eddie Guerrero. Viva la raza, baby. <laughs> Fuck, there was some rogue comments going around uh, the WWE the other night, wasn't there, that got made on TV? All shirts. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was very rogue. Anyway, we won't get into that. Um, But yeah, mate, I completely agree. Um, Pac, maybe if you didn't dog us for the corporate dollar... Um, you could be in bed with us at could the Could be in bed with us at the Caco, but that's okay. Um, for any, that's more on you than anything. Um, but yeah, mate, I agree. Any other? And just the Alpha Bikes boys, mate. I think as well. Um, they're from out west. They're from the country. They'd have absolutely no quit. You think it's my 120 out. kilo jackhammer doesn't stop? Yeah. Fuck, mate. They've never, they've never had the pull. Uh, the I'd be getting pull. jackhammered from all angles. Yeah, exactly. It'd be absolutely fucked. Pile driven. Yeah, man. So. Um, Any other actual relationship questions came through? Uh, I'll just have a quick read. Because there's a few rogue ones where I don't really want to uh, read them out. Um, Probably better to be safe than sorry. Good call, mate. <laughs> Someone said, why is my dad's love conditional? <laughs> 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 I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, That's probably a conversation say. you got to have with your dad. Um, here we go. Um, all right. So me and the missus live together in Melbourne. She wants to move to Perth, but I want to move to Queensland. I was going to pay someone to mug us in Perth, so she <laughs> won't want to move there, but not sure if it's the right move. Any help here? Well, dude, that actually sounds like a great idea. We've got plenty of frothies that would be able to do that. Yeah. You'd be able to organise when to get your shit back or – Conveniently drop on like somewhere, but um, I can't think of his name. I feel so bad. Hoags, Hoags, Hoags yes. from WA. Hoags He's from your w- man. He's yeah. your man. You got to hit him up. Yeah, go see Hoags and then have a Swan Lager with him after for us. Mm. Get him a case of Swannies. Yeah, he'll do it. He'll do it for a case he'll of Swan do it Lager. For a case of Swannies. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. I, I, why does she want to move to Perth? Is the or just show thing. her this podcast because Queensland and Brisbane is. Literally the best place on earth. Yeah, we'll buy you guys some beers. We've when covered it off a number of times. You can come to the Caxon if you exactly. move to Brisbane. Think about it's that. It's honestly the greatest place on earth. It is. I don't know how else to say it. Yeah. Um, got another one here from Mitchell. How to deal with long distance. Mrs. is going into the Navy next year. I'll most likely not see her for four to five months during training. Fuck, that is a rough one. That is a rough one. A very rough one. That is a rough one. Bit, I, th- I think like... I've never been in a long distance relationship. Neither. But, um, so probably not the best. We're probably not the best people to ask. Regardless if we had or not. But I feel like that's probably the best situation for a long distance relationship for someone going into the military. You know what I mean? Like, because they go away for their training and shit, but then you can move with them and do whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, They can get based at. And you know, I think the best thing about it is you know there's like a deadline on it, right? Yeah, exactly. Like you just got to put up with it for. Five exactly. months or whatever he said. It's a bit know, different to man. I don't know. Like you see, like I don't know if it's the same in real life over in the states. But in all those shows, the portrayal of the high schoolers that they're with people that go to different colleges, yeah. and blah blah blah. Like it just doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't just seem doesn't to seem add realistic. Up, bro. That, but um, mate, I think as long as you set some ground rules and you fucking. Stay in contact, get on FaceTime. Yeah, exactly. And you know that it's, as Darf said, there's an expiration date or when she's, well, there's a time when she gets back. So fuck it, bro. Work towards sweet. it. Um, and then shout out to uh, Lucas Brooks, the fumbler. Not sure some people are grasping the concept, the concept of relationship advice here. Um, <laughs> that is so true. Some of the 100%. things we've got. Fold or scrunch? Why do some people say arseless chaps when all chaps are arseless? That's a good question, though, isn't it? It is a great question. It is a great question. There were some great questions, though. But they're not really relationship questions, which is what we asked. Exactly. Look, another great question. Why are people from Belgium known as Belgians and not Belgiums? (laughs) I couldn't tell you. 
I it's do. like, why are we known as Australians and not Australians when we're the biggest <laughs> snacks in the world? <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. Yeah, I know. But um, <sighs> Let's put a pin in that segment. Yeah. Didn't go very well. That's we, all right. We shan't be bringing that back, will we? Yeah. No, we won't be. We won't um, be. Something to cover off quickly. Details not locked in, but October 21. What's October 21, Darso? You, you got to save the date. You got to save the date. Yeah, save the date. Save the... Bu- yeah, I oh know. I'm just... I've got a bit of a wedge in the old Gooch area, <laughs> so I'm just trying to get it out. Work it out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, October 21 is looking like it's going to be our first ever live show. Fuck Yeah. Here at the Caxton Hotel in Brizzy. We're going to try and figure out how to live stream it. I don't don't know how the fuck that's going to work. Um, and if we can't, fuck it. You're just going to have to rock up and watch it. Yeah, that's it. We're going to try and do karaoke on the night as well. Yep. Um, it be awesome. Our friend Nicholas Joy from The Cube. Yeah. If you're a long-time listener, you've heard us talk about him doing karaoke yep. at The Cube. He's a natural born performer. Mm. Um, so we're trying to lock him down for an exclusive karaoke night at the Cax and it'll be upstairs in the function room, which is actually where we record every week. So you'll be able to see yep. the setup. You'll be able to meet us. We'll make sure there's heaps of bloke getting around. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. going to be great. The whole idea is fuck. Like we've been trying to do an event for ages now, like a very long time. And there's a lot of you guys out there that we'd love to be able to meet. And whenever we've done stuff in the past, like little events and shit, it's sort of been rushed at the last minute. So we're trying to trying to give you a I bit think of a like head six start. Six weeks or something. So yeah, you got about yeah six weeks, five or six weeks to plan your shit. October twenty one. Finally, five we've weeks. locked five it weeks. in. So yeah, fucking. Come it's gonna along. be free. Just rock up. Yeah, we might do like an event or something so that you um. Like, I don't know. So we can just see how many people roughly yeah. come in because the cackle have to put staff on and stuff. But All we ask is that you come in and just pound blokes down your throats with us. Yep. And shut up when we do the fucking live show. That's probably what I'm most worried about. Oh, yeah. There'll be some people that'll be calling out, but that's okay. It's expected. But just try and keep a lid on it because then we can just chat bulk some out of shit afterwards yep. as well. Yep, so yep, 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 yep. October 21, lock it in, should be fucking sick. And then the week later, hopefully I will be down in Sydney. Which for the budgie awesome smuggler the budgie. thing. Hopefully. Thanks to everyone that's been supporting on that as well. The initial post went fucking bonkers. Yeah, crazy. Um, Probably the most likely we've ever got on a photo. Yeah, exactly. And um, Big power of the pod. Also, um, I just want to clear up as well. I did not feel shit about myself or anything with what old mate said. But in saying that, appreciate all the comments of everyone reaching out saying fucking... You're, you're more than a pile of mush. Yeah, exactly. That. I'm more than a pile of mush. And to always remember that I'm more than a pile of mush. So I, I've said it from the start, but yeah, it's nice yeah. to hear it from other people. Appreciate that from everyone. Um, yeah, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. There's just some people that um, need to get their fucking head screwed on. <laughs> and that fuck is one of them. Should we get into the froths, mate? I reckon we should, dude. Allow me. Well, okay. <laughs> um, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Here we are. Here we are. Jesus. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's go. Froth line. Das, lots, you fucking mad rudos. What's doing? Big red kangaroo checking in from New South, the loudest mouth in New South. I can talk some fucking shit. <laughs> um, bit of a fucking question for you there, boys. I was fucking talking to someone the other day, and um, the cunt was carrying on about fucking, like, vegan fucking meat patties and all that, and, like, look, I'm not a vegan in any fucking way, shape, or form. I love me T-bones, me scotch fillets, all that sort of shit. But, like, mm. if you don't like meat, that's fucking sweet. But what I can't understand is why the fuck would you then go and eat something that fucking looks like meat and apparently is supposed to taste like meat? Like, that's just fucking stupid. Mm. Hey? Rest like, if you don't point. eat meat, then don't eat the cunt. Eat the fucking plants. That's what I reckon anyway. What do you boys reckon anyway? Have a good one, look after each other, and fucking rip into it. Yeah! I love that. Um, mate, this is something that I... So, my miso is pescatarian. Um, so, doesn't eat fucking red Egg. meat or chicken. Love seafood, though. We pounded a dozen oysters from the markets on the weekend, actually. Love that. That was so good. Anyway, I've said this to her as well. Like, you know, like, why have something that you don't... 
I don't know. It's it's an interesting topic. I I think for some of them, like they enjoyed the taste, but they don't like the fucking animal rights side of it and that sort of shit. And that's fine, whatever. But um, there's actually like those patties. I've had a fair few of them, and they're fucking they're very processed. Yeah, and a lot of them aren't actually that fucking good for you because of how much other shit has gone into it. Whereas like. There's so many good, like, vegetarian options you can yeah. have where you don't actually... Look, fuck, last night, man, we had... Um, imagine, like, butter chicken. Yeah. But instead of chicken... Cauliflower. It's cauliflower. We talked about that last week as well. Yeah, bro, we had it again. Nice. And it was better this week. Like, even better than what it was last that week. That would explain the Dutch ovening that's happening. I haven't even farted yet. <laughs> just that's ready. terrifying Yeah I know <laughs> Get fucking scared bro I'm, but, I'm, a, I'm a big perpetrator of this as well like, And not so much with like fake meats But one of my least favourite things Is people who drink like sugar free soft drink Or yeah, eat sugar free yeah. chocolate Like if you want to have a tasty treat Have a fucking have tasty it. treat The best thing about it is the sugar content Like geez, I really feel like a sugar free solo No you don't yeah. It just doesn't quench the thirst the thing if that I was going to have a sugar-free salad, just have a fucking water. Because neither of them are going to hit my, give me my sugar hit. Bro, the thing that always rocks me is like when they call it chicken or beef. And it's like yeah. vegan chicken, vegan beef. For it to be a chicken... It has to be a chicken. Well, I believe bro. anatomically, <laughs> it has to be a chicken. I believe. I believe. I could be wrong. It's like the bacon and shit as well. It's not bacon. It's that, not vegan that's bacon. not a pig. No. In in no way, shape, or... And look, why when I say that is not bacon, you get so defensive about it? <laughs> yeah. I'm actually trying to, like, support your fucking views here where you're not eating a pig, you know? <laughs> yeah, so don't call it a pig. So don't call it a pig. Don't call it bacon. You're not eating bacon. You're not yeah. eating a pig. And I'm trying it's to true. point that out. And you're like, well, it, it's fake bacon. I was like, no, it's not. It's literally coming from something that you don't want to eat. It's not coming from that. <laughs> I don't know, man. It rocks me. It, yeah. And then like, oh, just grind my gears. We move forward though. Yeah. So are you done or are you about to launch again? No, I don't really know. Hey, <laughs> I just think. Couldn't mate, tell if that was a sigh or a reload. Well, I think it's a bit of both. It's just like, <laughs> just fucking stop throwing your, <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you believe in and all that sort of shit or what you eat. Just don't jam it down my throat, you know? <laughs> Because I'm not fucking telling you to go eat a T-bone. or I'm not telling I'm not you telling to go and drink, get blokes down your throat. Yeah, well, I am. Because everyone should. Everyone should. But this is a real bloke. It's not but a But then if someone, comes up, if someone comes up to me and goes, I don't want to get a bloke down my throat, I'll be like, well, look, that's your loss, but I respect it. But yeah. also... Don't go and drink something else yeah. and then say, oh, I'm having a fake bloke. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Not. There's only one bloke that I'll have in my throat. Yeah. Moving on. Here's an aggressive hangout from Cairns. <laughs> That's all. Thought well, I'd leave that one in. A few free phones this week. Oh, lots. <laughs> Shit loads. G'day, boys. Sabre Soldier. Back once again, calling from the free phone outside Banyo Chicken. Now, big Respect. question of the week for you guys is, if you had to commit one crime... That would stop that crime from happening ever again in the rest of your life or the rest of existence for the world. What would it be and why? You Ooh. know what? Just to save Darth Hole's ears from all the calls that to deal with, here's a nice, gentle hang up. Thank you. This is a very tough one. That is, so it's a crime that you've got to commit. So, like, you, so could, that, commit, that you could commit an arm robbery and then there would never be another arm robbery ever again. So, mm. you could commit a murder. But then there'd never be another murder ever again. You have to live with the fact that you murdered someone. Yeah, right. That's pretty shit. Yeah. You um, know what I mean? It's a very, very tough one. Yeah, it is. There's a few that I'm thinking of that are very, like, fucked. But it'd be great if they never existed again. Yeah, that's why it's tricky. It's very tricky. I can I'd go something like... Something like fucking million dollar tax fraud or something. something like that. Something that I can just benefit off <laughs> a lot of and then no one else has to suffer from. Like robbing a bank, potentially. Yeah. Are you then you're like to jail for it? But then, well, I don't know. We didn't really we get that far. But then the other th side of the coin is if you take the easy route and do something like that, you're potentially, 
Like you could have stopped every, you know, murder ever. You know what I? You know what I reckon? Oh, hang on. Yeah, because oh, because you stop every murder. Yeah. All right, you know He's what I do? One. Drink driving. Yeah. Okay. I'd be the last ever drunk driver so that no one else has to do drunk driving because then our roads would be so much safer. It's a good call. So, like, because the way I'm looking at this is, like, I'd get done and it would be against me. I'm saying just drunk driving where I haven't crashed into anyone either. Yeah, so it's, like, pr- it's pretty shit, but not, like, it's, it's not going to ruin your life. It's not going to ruin my life, but it's going to save Save many lots others. of lives. So yeah. I think I'd, I'd want to be the last drunk driver. It's a great call, Josh. So that uh, there'd be no more drink driving on the roads. I yeah. like where your head's at. Thanks, Very mate. well thought out. Cuts, Darth, it's the Fumbler. Hope we're doing well. I've been doing a bit of thinking as of late. Um, you know how trees have, like, all the rings in the middle? And yeah. you have to tell, that's how you tell um, how old they are? Yes. Uh, are humans like that as well? Because, like, when you get older, your face and everything just starts to get lines on it and start to wrinkle up. Um, so are we actually just moving trees? <laughs> and I'm going to leave you with that one. Have a ponder. Thoughts? Well, according to my finger, I'm 21. Dude, that could be it. I don't know. But, like, what part of the body would we then be starting to... Or are we just, like, going out on a limb and thinking that there's going to be, like, just a random part of the body with 27 wrinkles on it? Because, bro, if I'm looking at every single wrinkle I have... There's lots of them. Excuse me, I'm getting too comfy in this bed, eh? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm probably about fucking 100 and something. <sighs> I think but, I'm, I'm more of an, an uh, onion with layers. Yeah. Oh... <sighs> Same. I stink like an ogre. I'm an onion. I have layers. Now, before we progress any further, I just got an email that I thought I'd uh, read out to people that might be interested. Um, there are still, I think there's only one or two shares in our Mighty BBB racehorse left. Um, so if you're interested, get in touch and we can put you in touch with the right people. But we just got an email from the Caliber Racing Group. We are happy to report that your Better Than Ready cult has commenced pre-training for a couple of weeks before heading into the stables at Nathan Doyle's. This is designed to give him a base fitness for when they get into the stables. As you will see in the video of him, he's a big, gross lad that we we have a lot to work with and let's hope he has a V8 engine under the bonnet. (laughs) We'll keep you updated uh, throughout the process. Uh, There's plenty of footage to come. The naming process will be finalised this week. We'll be in touch in the next few days. So get keen for that if you're in the owners. We'll um, get everyone into the owners group uh, this week. Yeah, fuck yeah. Sounds good. I love that. Sorry, that was the same one. It's very fucking exciting. Good day, gentlemen. It's Fawn again, Froth here. Um, just wanted to let you know, I think all of these phone calls to the free phones have run Telstra absolutely dirt poor. Perfect. Nice. This free phone I'm calling from right now is split in half. One half is the speaker, one half is the mic. It's absolutely fucked. Fuck Telstra, but we love them. Free phones forever. Pack never. BBB. That's good to hear. I'm glad Telstra that Telstra's going broke. going broke because someone needs to send them broke. But if they want to sponsor us, reach out. Reach out, Telstra. Um, Josh, before we actually do progress any further, there's one other thing I think we talked about just before. A uh, certain group chat just popped up on my screen. and I th- There's someone oh, in there. oh, 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 oh. I'll let you lead the way with this one. Alrighty. So, yesterday, sitting in bed, probably about... One o'clock in the Arvo, maybe a bit later, maybe a little bit earlier. It doesn't really matter. One of the boys in one of our group chats messages us. and goes, holy fuck, I have fucked up. <laughs> We're like, okay, what the fuck? And he said he had a big night the night before. He was up at 3 a.m. And he was a little bit randy. So, you know, he's, he's choked the chicken. As you it, do. To put it lightly, you know, just to, just because he, he felt like he needed to. Anyway, he's woken up the next day and he's gone to do it again because he's feeling a bit randy. And he's reached over to grab 
what he was using to assist with the choking of the chicken. <laughs> and it turns out that he's mistaken his cock for a piece of chicken <laughs> because he's gone in his drunken state the night before and grabbed a bottle of mayonnaise and used it to choke the chicken. <laughs> And we're all like, no way, this can't be right. And then he sent a fucking photo of a mayonnaise bottle next to his bed and it's all squeezed up. And we're like, there is absolutely no way. He goes, oh my God, this is so fucked up. This is so fucked up. And we're just like, yes, dude, this is ridiculously fucked up. <laughs> Tell the toothpaste part And yeah okay I was like oh This is even funnier And more fucked up than the time with the toothpaste And someone's like What? What do you mean the toothpaste? I was like well This guy came up to me In year 10 at school one day And he's like scratching around his crutch and stuff And he's like oh Cuts, you got to come over here. And I was like, yeah, okay, dude. Like, what's up? What's up? He goes, I think I fucked up. It's like, I last night got horny and didn't have any <laughs> lube. So I, I used toothpaste and like, it was okay at the start, but I, I've burnt my cock. <laughs> and now I'm really itchy. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? He goes, yeah, man, it's so stupid. I don't know why I did it. But yeah, yeah, now I've burnt my cock with toothpaste. Oh. And everyone's like, hang on, What? <laughs> Oh. So, yeah, the Mayo Man and the Toothpaste Man. It's like Colgate, baby. Buzz Rothfield has entered the chat, baby, but oh. in a whole new way. We have a new Mayo Man. About that. Fucking hell. <sighs> but yeah, um, could be weird, but could also not be. Reach out to us, and we will read out some next week. If you have ever used anything <laughs> weird. You'll remain anonymous. We will not judge you because we are not judged. Well, I'm not judging. I'm not judging friend. anyone. I think it's funny ass. It is funny ass. But yeah, if, if you've ever used anything weird for that department, reach out, let us know, send us an inbox because I think it's fucking hilarious. It is pretty funny. Anyway. Imagine going to sleep here and just going to bed with the Forex man. That would be pretty cool. Oh, he's winking at us as well. Um, now, forgive me. I don't know if we just heard this one or not, but... Hey, you cat fuckers, it's Cody Roach. Fuck, no, it's not. It's the, the beer pong gormala. Fucking just finished up having a few beers. It's always good on a Wednesday night. Fucking just wondering, what's your favourite minor inconvenience to do? So I'll go first. Uh, every time me and the boys are out at the pub having a few beers and whatnot, if there's a jukebox, we all throw our coins together, rustle up usually about 20 or 30 bucks, fill up the jukebox, and just as we're about to leave, we'll just put on root, root, wood chip on repeat, and <laughs> so every other cunt is stuck in the pub with root, root, wood chip playing for about an hour. <laughs> so, right, boys, stay out of each other. Love you. Bye. Fuck, that is good. That is good. Um, a minor inconvenience. There's not too many that I enjoy, really. Um, dude, I used to do one with uh, with Hemwood actually when we were walking around because we used to walk around a bit like for study breaks and stuff at night during yeah, high yeah. school. And <laughs> there's this set of traffic lights down the bottom of the hill on Ashgrove Avenue that ascends towards like the Red Hill Special School. Yeah. And there's a crossing there. So our minor inconvenience would be you'd see a car coming down the hill. And then you just press the thing for the cross, and then we yeah. go across the road. Yeah, and then it would. The and then you just change. wait on the other side and see the lights. Just like they'd have to stop. Yeah, at the red light. And it's a, it's a minor <laughs> inconvenience because there's no traffic around. Yeah, but also those, already those the lights. Road. Yeah, we've already crossed the road, but there's like those lights will Take never go ages. red unless anyone's crossing. Yeah. So that was I. I used to enjoy doing that way too much, to be honest. But um, yeah. It's always a good one. Frothies and frothats. It is Coit from Burrell Beach here. I've just stumbled across something that's really stumped me. Spit. 
right? You can use it as a lubricant or you can you know, put it on a plastic bag and try and open it, put a little bit of spit on your fingers and just rub it together, acts as a bit of grip and you get it open. And that's just, it's really stumped me. How can something that can be used for lube also be used as grip? Because I don't know about you, but if you spray some Grippo down there and then try to go go to town with misses, <laughs> I don't think she'd be very impressed. But spit works a treat. Anyway, I just wanted to get your thoughts. Don't piss the sheets. Give them fucking heaps. Fuck, that is very interesting. Just yeah, sorry, as you were talking about going down and gripping it, the Mayo Masturbator has messaged in our chat um, someone sent a photo of a salad they're having and he's responded with, if you enhance the photo, you can see the mayor better. <laughs> <laughs> Out. Um, but, fuck, I'm so bad at this. Is Do you want me to unplug your headphones? And I'll no, 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 it's all good. It's all good. Dude, it won't work. It's fine. Um, <laughs> no, nah, it's all good. Um, I don't know. That is interesting. I would have thought that, I actually didn't know that if a plastic bag's like that, you just like fucking Yeah, you know how you on. like... Yeah. It's I like just, when you turn a page. Yeah, okay. Oh, true. I think that's what he's talking about. Yeah, true. It's It really makes you think. It does. Maybe it's because you know when you go under water for ages, your hands get all pruney and wrinkly? Yeah. That's for grips. Maybe it's like that. Yeah. Dry up dirzzle, you great prune. So you lick your fingers and then they get wrinkly and grippy. and That's why it works. Makes sense. Yeah, maybe. We've cracked the code. Mm. Hey, boys. A fellow pile of mush here that's calling in with a mind fuck. So I was just thinking, when you're watching your TV and you see an ad for another TV, it's just advertising how good the graphics are. And you're looking at it, you're going, wow, look how good these graphics are. I need this TV. I was just watching one. I was like, fuck, I'm seeing this through my own TV. <laughs> <laughs> so, boys, if that's the case, why the fuck do we need to buy the new TVs? Can we not just keep watching commercials for new TVs and seeing all the latest graphics from the comfort of our own home? Anyway, that's just been bothering me for the last few minutes, so I thought I'd pass it on to you guys. That's a great question. See ya. Doesn't that technically mean that the graphics that you're seeing on the TV are the graphics of your own TV? That, but that's what, he missed, that's what he's saying. Yeah, so, like... You have great graphics in your TV. You have great then. graphics. So all TV advertising of TVs is a waste of money. It's a waste of money. Especially when they're talking about the graphics. Oh, it fucking worked on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. As soon as I got... Oh, I'll be honest, though. As soon as I got my new one, I noticed a big fucking difference. <laughs> oh. <laughs> probably because it's bigger than yeah, me. Yeah, probably because it's <laughs> fucking nearly double the size of the other one. Yeah. Hello, boys. It's the uh, Gold Coast Gooch Licker here. Um, yeah. just listen to the most recent potty, um, and you just were yarning about the, the most wild thing that you've ever persuaded someone into believing. Now, me and the boys, Fuck um, us. actually one of my mates decided to have a bit of a chill stash, uh. had a few of the old vegan ciggies and was just chilling out on the chair there. Me and my mates decided to pull a prank on him. Now, we persuaded him that his left arm did not work. <laughs> And so there he sat for two hours trying to lift his left arm off of his leg, and he couldn't. And this two-hour session of trying to lift his arm culminated in him crying and calling for his mum. Oh, my God. Um, if that's not a wig out and uh, one of the all-time stories of believing shit that just isn't true, then I'm not here. Let me know your thoughts, boys. Sheeps in your cheeks. Give them heaps. Please do not piss the sheets. Um... Lifting your left arm never. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. That's one of the great stitch ups of all time. That's fucking awesome. That just shows the power of the mind though. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like You're living rent free in that bloke's head. Yeah. And he's living rent free within his own head in a way. <laughs> yeah, big he time. He doesn't believe in himself. <laughs> oh my god. Hardcore agree. Isn't that? That was, uh, that's my worst nightmare. <sighs> Please no. G'day legends, it's uh Giraffe Boy here. Oh so um at one of the Potty, um, yeah. Um, at one of the free phones that me and Chucky went on a walk for and found um, back in the olden days. Um, just want to call to say that I'm proud of you. He's doing a bloody great job. And um, just look out for your mates. Love you so much. Um, anyway, yeah, that's it. 
Also, I dropped my guts in this boy, and turns out, um, yeah, they hold the gas in. <laughs> yeah, over and out. <laughs> uh, doesn't surprise me at all. Love it to hear from you, Giraffe uh, Boy. Love it to hear from you, Giraffe Boy. And there's a great message as well to be checking on your mates. Um, we all need to be doing it. Are oh, you okay, Dave? Was the other day. Saw a lot of positive messages going around about that as well, guys. But it shouldn't just be one day of the year that we're checking in on people to see if they're okay. I think that's pretty fucking shit if we're only doing it one day a year. You should be doing it probably as daily, often as possible. To be honest. Should be checking in on people as much as you can. There's a lot of uh, lot of shit going on in the world, guys. A lot of lot of bad stuff. A lot of people get down. So just make sure you're checking in on everyone and you know, just making sure everyone's going all right. And if you're not feeling all right, just reach out to someone. More of the good stuff as well, and also more of people farting in free phones. I'd like to hear more about yeah. your experience if you've done the same thing. Fucking eyes. New trend. Ooh. G'day boys, just uh, on my way to work at 3am on a Saturday, um, yeah, um, I was just wanting to know about the driving etiquette, what you guys think about like flashing headlights for police off- or for other cars for a police officer, when is it acceptable to do so and when isn't it? Because my kind of thing is, if if the car isn't about to turn off, or if like there isn't a turn off in between the cop and the car, then flash, but if that car can turn off, then I'm not going to flash because it could be rude. Or if there's another car in front of me, then don't flash because you're flashing the person in front of you. Mm. Just want to hear what you guys think. Um, and second question, what's your favourite flavour of Smith chips? Because my <laughs> mates think it's cheese and onion and I think they're dumb. That's fucked. Anyway, uh, don't piss the sheets and give them eat. I reckon always flash unless there's a car in front of you. Yeah, I think, I think we've, we covered flash. it off a while back. But I don't think um, the last time we didn't discuss about a car being in front of you. Yeah, definitely not. If definitely don't of. flash if there's someone in front of you. No, no, no. That's their job. Um, yeah. And also cheese and onion is fucking fucked. Cheese that's and onion is terrible. We've also covered that off. It was a long time ago. I don't think cheese and onion is <laughs> terrible, but if that's your go-to. Well, compared to everything else. It just can't be your go-to. Like, it can't be your favourite. If you're at a party and there's cheese and onion there and you reach to the bowl and get some... You're like, ah, oh, not great, but like, I'm still going to eat shitloads of these. I don't mind the old salt and vinegar from Smith. Love salt and I don't yeah, mind chicken. Favorites. Chicken also great. And just a good old original. Barbecue, original. Mm. Cheese and onions so far down the list for me. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. Hey, uh, hey, Dallas. Hey, Clark. Uh, this is the milk man here. There's uh, 10 seconds left on the clock. Down here in Canada. I want to let you know that the Broncos are shit. And this is why the Raiders should win. 3, 2, 1. Yes! Come on, let's go! Come on, let's go! Oh, 28 to 20! Fuck Brisbane! Fuck the Storm! Fuck the lot of you! Camera! Woo! Oh, fuck it, hell. Okay. Um... I have I said oh, well it's Friday now that you're listening to this and I posted on Sunday that I'd address something on maybe Instagram on Monday but I haven't done that yet. We can still do it. Could still do it. Um, I'll do my exp- yeah. I'll, we'll do it. It'll be a big explanation. Um, but <clears throat> my response as well is that someone's going to give you cunt something to cheer about down in Canberra. <laughs> Because you live in fucking Canberra. So, if my team is able to provide you with some little bit of joy in that absolute shithole of a place that you call home, then you're welcome, cunt. <laughs> Good on you, Melbourne. Stop. Then you're welcome. So, we're actually doing a service to you poor fuckers <laughs> that find yourself living in Canberra. In the nation's capital. Literally, riddle me this. Who has ever wanted to live in Canberra? Not me. Exactly. <laughs> what joy is there in Canberra? <laughs> Couldn't tell you. Never been. Probably nothing. Sometimes a rugby league victory. Viking claps, baby. But how did you get rugby league victories? By other cunts feeling sorry for you. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Our season may be over, but you have to live in Canberra. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> Moving on. 
Oh, hey, fellas. Fucking hope this is the right number. Um, just call and say, send in the streets to Avalon. Just want to ask you a cock and last question. Which way do you cunts face in the shower? Do you face the shower or do you face away from it? Because I'll be doing fucking 360s in that, can't kind of. <laughs> I? All right, fuck you. Stay out of each other. Get the blood down your throat. Fuck off. He's an aggressive hanger. Aggressive! <laughs> I'm usually, like, when I get in, I face and then face away. Yeah, I, I face to, you know, I can't put my hands behind my back to turn the dial. Um, I mean, I like wash my face and shit first and then turn around face the other way. See, I go from the feet up. Like when yeah, I wash. Right. So I, Start I, at the toes. Yeah. I do um, not. Well, I, I scrub my legs first See, that's scrubbing brush. That's silly because if you wash your legs and then, mm. then you wash your chest and your face, water runs down back onto your legs, which then don't get cleaned. <laughs> You're fucked if you think that that is not cleaning. I just think it makes more sense to start at the top. Yeah, well, it might, but <laughs> bro, my legs are always the dirtiest fucking things. Yeah, but it doesn't. <laughs> and also, I don't want to forget about them. <laughs> oh. It's better to get a good scrub down there first. I wait for this next call. Oh, no. <laughs> Hey fellas, just called before about fuck which way you're facing in the shower. Just wanted to ask you again because I looked to my left and saw a Telstra free phone. So here's a free phone call. So yeah, which way do you face in the shower? Do you face the shower or do you face away from it? Because I'll be doing 360s and all that kind of weird shit, you know what I mean? Alrighty fellas, love the potty. Stay out of each other. Get a bloke down your throat. Here's a fucking knock on hang up for a six again. <laughs> 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 the exact same call But from a free flow Thank you Appreciate oh, it Oh thank appreciate you Thank it. you But yeah I don't know I just Hey boys It's time to leave my way here Just want to talk about two things First time call I love potty I'm battling on I'm in the struggles Right now yeah, Sounds like my it. But anyway It's a brilliant Sunday Let's get going Let's talk about two things Jellyfish for one the fuck is that? Explain that to me. We can't. Just forward, have a thing. Number two, bloody brewing beers. Golf day. Sign me up. I'm fucking in. Golf day would be All good. All right, lads. Cheers in your cheeks. Have a good one. It's not a week to see. See you, fuckers. Golf day would be good. Can't tell you much about jellyfish, though. We don't know enough about the ocean, unfortunately. Um, I just typed in, why do jellyfish exist? <laughs> um... Scientists at Queen's University, Belfast, have discovered that jellyfish are providing habitat and space for developing larval and juvenile fish. The fish use their jellyfish hosts as means of protection from predators and for feeding opportunities, helping to reduce fish mortality and increase recruitment. Um, I disagree with the scientists at Queen's University, Belfast, because they're in Ireland and they're probably fucked off their face half the time. <laughs> Um, Fair enough yeah. The only thing that I really know about the jellyfish and why they're around And I know that it's big in the old Morton Bay Is that turtles love to chomp on them Yeah, so right. That's why you got to get your plastic bags out Because turtles mistake fucking plastic bags in the water jellyfish. jellyfish There you go, I didn't realise that Right Back in the day, like, because we used to put in the Brizzy River now we put it in Dudgy Creek because it's a much easier ride out. In Brizzy River, a lot of the times, depending on the tides, there's just a fucking metric fuck ton of jellyfish at the at the mouth. Like when you're driving along, all you can hear is bum 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 bum. You can just you're hitting them because you're hitting the jellyfish because they're at the top. Fucking hell! And you actually have to be real careful when you're going through there because turtles, a lot of the time, will come up and start feasting on them. Yeah, right, and you can run the turtles and over. You can run the turtles over, which you don't want. Fuck the jellyfish. There's plenty of those cunts around, and as we know, they just float there and they're useless. But the turtles... We care about the there's turtles. There's a bit going on with yeah. the turtles. They're pretty cool. Um, but yeah, jellyfish are scat, man. Don't like them. No. Final oh. froth. I think I need some wedges. Oh. Hey boys, it's the Wynnum Willy Whacker. Um, just calling from Queen Street Mall at 3 a.m. in the morning. And we're just wondering how many preschoolers do you think it would take 
or how many preschoolers do you think you could fight before you were overwhelmed? Um, yeah, boys, just let us know. Um, appreciate the fucking potty. And, um, yeah, this is an aggressive hang-up. I reckon you could punch so many, Josh. Yeah. I'm just imagining you, like, flailing your arms at... Like, I'm picturing hundreds. Oh, I was going to say a couple hundred, maybe They're thousand. They're just running at you, and it'd be like... It'd be Bro, like a dragon in Lord it. of the Rings, just, like, with a f- with breathing fire with your arms. I think, like, this question gets asked a bit, but the more I think about it, the more I realise that I've been trained for this, like, my whole life. Because all my cousins on my dad's side have been, like, that many years younger than me. So, like, when I was, say, 13, I had a lot of um, cousins that were around that preschool age. And, bro... Used to rough and tumble them. If I could fucking throw those little cunts then... Yeah, think about you now. Imagine what I could do Buck now. 20. Yeah, exactly. Big buck 20 Bronco, bro. With a couple of pipes. <laughs> bro, ma- yeah. And then just and imagine what height. my... Yeah, low body height. No quit. Dude, I... I don't care how tired I get. Yeah. I don't care how tired I get. There is no way that if I start getting a bit tired, I just run down the street. Yeah. They can't catch you. <laughs> you've, you've, you're you literally... Everyone knows I could run over 30 k's an hour. Exactly. Now. And you've a buck 20 and you've got no yeah. quit. I can't... Uh, I don't think there's enough preschoolers in the world. No. That'd be interesting. We'll find out... How many preschoolers How many the preschoolers there are in the world. Let's hope some of them aren't stabby. Yeah, no weapons, and obviously. No, no weapons, no weapons. Obviously. I reckon I could take every preschooler in the world. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you could. I don't think I could. I think you yeah, could. that's why I'm yeah, laughing. Because yeah, 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 yeah. you agree with me. Yeah. Oh, bro. I'd like... You know what? I'd love to film it. If you've got preschoolers, <laughs> <laughs> reach if you, out. If you're willing to uh, sacrifice your preschooler... Let us know. ...for a bit of fucking... Content. Content. Content is king. We'll Bro, tag I you. Imagine the we'll HIAs on those little fuckers. <laughs> oh, we great. have a possible contact to the head. It will not be coming back. Naughty corner for you, Gerald. That's pretty much all we got time for <sighs> yes, this week. It sounds like it. Oh, I've just slowly slipped further and further down yeah. this bed. Time, to, time for bed. Time for sleep. Yeah. You can call me Comfortable Tom. Comfortable Josh. Comfortable Josh. Shout out to Lad Collective. Shout yeah. out bloke. Get behind them. They're great blokes. Just two young brothers having a crack. Yeah. If you need some fucking bed sheets, you'd be mad not to, personally. That's what I think. They got a lot of they got a lot of run this episode. So fucking go help them out, please. Help them out. Help them out. Help them out. Help our mates who help us. Help help us by helping them help us because they're Sponsoring us And so. also I'm just saying it right now We're gonna start it up again Let us know If they helped you get a route Yeah Cause it's genuinely it Helped in the past a number of times Yeah Someone did it in their nobbies And the lag collective yep. sheets Yep Righto See you next week Righto Give them heaps Go the lines Go the lines